Hello YouTube and this is Yui. Today I'm going to show you how to integrate NetBeans IDE 7.2.1 with Prime Faces. So to start, I open my NetBeans IDE. Daddy. Okay, uh after opening up the IDE, you open up a new pay project rather. Sorry then go to java web and choose uh the web application this is what we're trying to create using prime faces click next the next and then our application is going to be running on the glassfish server 3.1 I believe and the JEE version is uh, the JEE 6 web version click next and then from here we are uh, we select the Java server faces and then when integrating with prime faces the 7.2.1 IDE net been 7.2.1 IDE comes in with uh some of the libraries that you can select from and for start i'm going to select the prime faces jsf component suit and then click finish Okay, this is our project code tutorial. And uh, let me just close some of the tabs from uh, my previous project. Okay, uh, let me start from uh, open up my tutorial project. And under the web pages folder, collapse it. And then double click the index.xhtml file like so and then there is also other files like the welcome to prime faces.xhtml and there are also other files like the web.xml which is just the same as the web.xml in the web inf folder so basically when we will be creating a web based application using prime faces this is what we uh, we will be working with so for a start let me say uh the title that is this is the title that is going to appear on on the web browser that is going to appear on the web browser so for that okay you can type anything. Um, Prime Faces tutorial. Okay. And then hello to Prime Faces. We don't need that. So what we want to work with right now is uh, uh, the layouts. Okay. Um one thing you have to know is since we have uh selected the prime faces the default prime faces library from the JSF uh tab from previous screens uh in the libraries folder that's where we will find our library the prime faces library and if you collapse it they are quite of quite a number of meta.inf and all other supporting files supporting packages rather that come along with the uh, prime faces jar so for today we're going to be using this library prime faces 3.2 okay and to to have for prime faces to have the effects on our project right now 
we have to include the XML and as uh, declaration or whatever they call it so here XML and XML uh, just extensible markup language and then the NS is for um, namespaces so all in all XML NS stands for extensible markup language naming spaces and then we go add oh sorry and then we go add the prime faces uh namespaces namespace rather okay let me pause and copy it from a separate file okay uh so i'm going to extract this uh namespace for the prime faces i just copy it as it is and then uh paste it paste it there so it is so common to other programming concept that some people write it this way but as for this tutorial we are going to write it uh the following like the following so i'm gonna delete all that and then copy the html address paste it there So it used to be like this. The URL used to be like this, but now it's just primefaces.org. Uh, primefaces.org.ui. Uh, and then um, maybe we can run to check to see to check and see uh, what this web app is displaying currently okay taking quite a lot maybe i should pause and this is the output because we only have the link to uh, the prime faces page and right now i'm not connected to the internet and uh there's no connection there ain't no page that's gonna show okay going back to our netbeans okay uh let us remove this link actually and the break uh tag and add a few simple codes uh just for the remaining time okay to carry on sorry for that okay uh we're just gonna wake up what uh the layout full page equals um i'll find uh tutorials that i will really explain some of the things yeah and in the layout we find uh layout units and this layout units uh no matter what you do you have to place the position like yeah it will always be highlighted uh the red highlight showing that there is no position to define where exactly the layout will be so and also for all the layouts that you go include in your project you have to make sure that one amongst all of them uh obtains the position center and after that it'll be fine you can add whatever you want uh like yeah uh the header we're going to call it resources uh resizable can it can somebody move it around increase its size or what we're going 
uh, set it to true collapsible now we don't want uh, it to be collapsible and then we can add, a, add another layout unit and this time uh, the position thinking of uh, putting it worst and then no header or maybe we can put a header header sorry for the spellings header and then worst I'm sorry we have to continue uh, in my next tutorial so for the time thank you for watching